Hey y'all. So I'm back again with another journal. And this is, this is a really, really, really cool book. And it took me a long time to um, kind of figure out how I wanted to do this one and whether I really wanted to part with it. So it's been done for several weeks now. And as much as I want to keep it, I just, I can't. I have eight journals right now of my own that I'm behind on my own stuff. <laughs> and, but this book to me is just incredible. The illustrations in it are amazing. Um, and I wanted to, I wanted to make a special journal out of it because I just think it's so cool. And the cover was in pretty bad shape, uh, because it was kind of, it's sort of bent. You can barely see it, but right here there are a few little ridges, which you really can't tell. You have to kind of feel it where it's, at one point it had been bent. So a little disclaimer on that, but the, and the back was the same way. <clears throat> so I was able to sort of disguise it on the back um, with the, you know, the bears, and then I added additional fabric on the back. But it was a weekly reader and it was a children's book club. And the book is actually from 1969. But so you can look it up. But inside it, I actually made a pocket and I covered up the copyright date. I wasn't thinking when I did that. But anyway, so this book is, I think it's nine by nine, which is a really cool size. Yeah, it's nine by nine. And then the spine is like two and a half inches. So I did a little bit of the curved spine on it. I didn't do a hidden, you know, I didn't stitch it in as a hidden so that it is actually stitched directly into the curved spine. And it's stitched in with, uh, I used the hemp twine on this. And I added a lot of vintage, that one quilt that I got, um, that was really old it just worked really well with this and then there's some other pieces like this is mixed in and this i believe came from renee from one of her uh farmhouse the kind of western farmhouse kits that she did this piece right here but it's called we were we were tired of living in a house and i covered that up just because i just kind of like doing that and then i there was uh, a little bit of damage here, so I stitched some fabric little pieces together and covered that up and did one of my uh, ties. Only this time I stitched it to the back of, this is a pillowcase. And I just thought it went. And I just used all kinds of little scrap fabrics to make this tie. I added some buttons here. And I hope I'm in frame because this book is big. I added some little uh, buttons here. Uh, this is a wood button. This is a little floral button that came in Happy Mail and a little red button there. And one of my paperclip charms. I added on this one that has a little turtle on it with some, you know, a little button and little beads with some cantha fabric. And I, I just love this journal. And it's a pretty, uh, based on what I've looked at, it's a fairly rare book. But it was already, when I found it, it was already falling apart. So I didn't have any qualms about taking it apart. And here's here's the tie, so you can just see some of the different uh, quilt pieces. A lot of, most of this is quilt pieces. And it's, I kept it kinda, I want, I love this kind of shabby look, especially with this book. So there are four signatures in this and there's a lot of room in it and I counted the pages but I don't remember it, it's it's probably 160 you know pages all together you count front and back and so forth uh, may even be more than that and then in the middle I put I totally stole Elizabeth never hopeless by Elizabeth's idea of putting a kind of a middle signature in but it's not sewn in with extra things in here for you to use in the journal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to flip to that point so I can take this out. So what I did in the middle was I did a file folder. And 
I hope you can see this because this book is so big. Big. I did a file folder, so to speak. Okay, and there are all these goodies in here and on this side. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull them all out because this video will take forever. And then there's a map here, and I have added several pieces of that vintage quilt and other bits and pieces of papers and things that you can use in here okay so you can leave it you can just kind of leave it tucked in here uh, i can tie it in for you if you want some kind of if you want it kind of tied in here i just have it clipped in because when you tie it up and close it it's going to stay put but if you want some kind of elastic or something or just a um ribbon or something tying it in if you are interested in purchasing and you want that let me know i'll gladly kind of tie it in for you so that's in the middle so let's go back to the front <clears throat> oh this stuff is falling out of here okay so in the front what i did because the cover had been damaged i took another piece of thin chipboard and I covered it with this fabric. And this is also from that old quilt. And I stitched around it. And then I glued it down. And it's glued down and reinforced with double-sided tape and fabric tack tape. So it shouldn't go anywhere. And then I made a pocket here. Okay. And then I have some of my little collage tags. I made, I made this one specifically for this book. Um, some other little pieces that you can use and make your own pockets out of. I was gonna do more decorating than what I did in it or embellishing, but then I thought, you know, I really think I did a lot of stitching. I spent a lot of time on this book, but I really want whoever gets it, because I'm, I'm attached to it, I really am, but I want, <laughs> whoever gets it to really put their own, you know, take on it. So because of the size of this book, I had to do a lot of stitching and making, you know, adding pages together to get the size that I wanted. So there's little places like this all throughout that you can tuck things in and I've tucked things in for you. Or you can, if you don't like that, you can glue these pieces down and you can use it however you want but the illustrations in here are just incredible so so i left the tie and all the pages are in here and i think there's one spot where i may have got something out of order but i don't think you can really tell it so but anyway so we were tired of living in a house and doris Byrne. i did some research on her and she illustrated I can only find three books that she actually illustrated, but her illustrations were incredible. So here's the little kids and the dog, you know, they're, they're packing up to move out. <laughs> and then this is, this is the actual page. I hope you guys can see. This is the actual page that has the copyright. And I, I put a, I, I did this before I was thinking, but I put this little, this is a little feed sack, piece of a feed sack quilt, I believe. And I believe this also came in Renee's kit. So I have used, I still have a ton of that stuff, but I've used a lot of it. And I just thought it went really well in here, so I used that. So this is that, this is a piece of tea dyed paper that's been stitched to some cardstock. And then this is actually a piece of a file folder, and it's almost like a corrugated, it's not real, it's, it's sturdy, but it's not super thick like a file folder re that I recycled. So you've got a pocket on this side that's really kind of hidden because you can't really see it, but there's a pocket there. And then I took a piece of scrapbook paper on this side and some other vintage fabrics and made this little, just kind of little triangle down here. And this is actually a little pocket. So you can tuck something little in there. And then I made a big tag here, okay? So, you could actually use this, you know, you could use it to write on throughout your book. You just have to be careful not to write over the stitching, but you could kind of use that. Or, you know, picture, journal, whatever you want to do. 
and it just goes in this big pocket here. Just a little fabric piece. And this might actually be, no, that's not where the copyright is. Um, little ruffle. And this is a piece of that quilt. <clears throat> so here's the beginning of the story. And I think the kids are, the kids must be packing and the parents are down here. Like, what are they doing? Um, this is a, um, from a 1980s big, huge atlas that I purchased. Pocket on this side, put some little graph paper in here. And the story, you know, we were tired of living in a house. So here they are packing up their belongings. So this is more cardstock stitched to another piece of cardstock and another little ruffle. I've got to just keep remembering to move this so you can see it. So it says, so we packed the bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and woolen caps. And I don't know if you can see it, but it says, and we moved into a tree. You see that? So my, think, my thinking on this book is you can keep the story in here, but you really don't. You can put pictures over this. You can collage over this, Look, keep some of the illustrations. I love the illustrations, so I would probably journal in here, put pictures throughout here. Um, and I thought it would be great if you are, if you're an adventurous person and you love to camp or you love to go to the beach or you're outdoors, you know, fishing, that kind of stuff was kind of what I had in mind for this journal. But you can use it any way you want. If you're just like me and you love children's books, you can use it any way you want to. But I just loved it. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read the whole whole book to you, but it's just it's pretty cool. You can kind of get the gist the gist of it. But look at these illustrations are amazing. And I, I just couldn't bring myself to use it in pieces. And like I said, it took me a long time. It just took me a long time to figure out, to figure this one out in my head. And then this is the other side of that map. And I put some other, you know, pieces in here um, that you could use. Some of these pieces actually came out of a, a book that Jessica sent me a, a while ago. It was something she had started. And she said, here, maybe you can use this. And I, she had some cool pieces that I thought went well in here. So I put some, I pulled some of those out and then put some little old vintage, um, just all, it's really random, all kinds of little things. This is like vintage recipe, just little things that I thought fit. And then I stitched a little, uh, no, did I stitch that? Yeah, no, I just glued that down the side. This is the other side of that folder. You see? Do y'all see just how amazing? This is going to be a long video. <laughs> Get a snack. <laughs> anyway, this is a little pocket right here. Just a paper tab I stitched on. I did a little bit, um, some little bit different stitching in here throughout. Here and there. More uh, tea dyed paper. Another little... This is a paper tab, and then I also put a little piece of fabric over the top of it. This is a little pocket space, and that's the end of that first signature. And here's the second signature. This came out of another really interesting book that I thought kind of fit with the coloring in here. And just interesting. Uh, you can collage on this or cover it up. I left this little piece so you can make another pocket if you want to, or you can add something here to extend this page. I put one of my vintage nautical maps in here from North Carolina. More scrapbook paper, paper and fabric tab. And this is a piece of a paper bag. And I thought that might be kind of fitting in here. And I left this here and you can you can cover this up you can paint on this stamp on this put some more little uh vintage like little uh record pages 
splash card, index card, more ledger, music paper that I made a pocket out of, put some other little pieces in here. And this I thought was really cool. It was a large book, um, a large kids book page, but it was, you know, the forest and creatures and uh, I just thought it went well in here. And then it's got bunnies. The other music, the other side of the music page, um, another little vintage recipe. Another piece of uh, that beautiful ledger from Renee. And I made this like a little pocket here, but I stitched it down both sides here. And this is a little tiny pocket there, so you can stick something small in there. Other side of the nautical map. And then this was where their little place flooded. <laughs> so then they decide they're going somewhere else. This, I believe, is a piece of, you know, it's cardstock. It's like a manila cardstock. This is the pocket here. This is some of that fabulous paper from Rachel at Roxy Creations, and I just made a big flip with it. Stitched some of that quilted fabric here. So they're moving on somewhere else, I think. Or no, this is, this is kind of where I messed up, I think, because this actually should be at the beginning of the book when they're leaving the house. So just so you know that that's out of order. But I still don't think it takes away from the illustrations. This is mixed media paper. And I left this like this, but you can, you can glue this up and make this another pocket, or you can also extend this page out. But this is where they, um, they made themselves a little pier until they sank. <laughs> More little, um, ephemera pieces. And this is another vintage from another vintage book and I just thought it was kind of cute with the kids and some of the craft things in here. Another pocket with some other book pages tucked in. This is the pocket out of fabric, but I've got it clipped in there because you'd have to kind of have to put quite a few things in there to get it to stay. I probably should have put it on paper and then done it, but I still like the way it turned out. So now they're moving to a cave. So this is their little cave. Until they met the bears. And this is a this is a vintage piece of ledger, and I believe I'm not sure, I'm not sure where I got that. But it's really cool. There's the bears. Is another map, another map page, and more other kids' book pages stuck in there for you to use. This is a little flip with the envelopes. T died. So this time they moved to the sea, and these are all the signatures are sewn in with that hemp twine, and I've just tied them up. I left them long, so you can undo them and add charms or buttons to them if you want. Just a little fabric piece here. Another little pocket, and this is just another little kid's book page. And this is when they moved to the sea. This is These are some of my favorites. This and the fishing, the fishing one are some of my favorites. Be 
you really stop and look at these illustrations are just amazing. But after all their adventures, they decided that <laughs> they wanted to go back home, so they packed up and moved back home. So that that's the end of the book. And then I, you know, I left this in here that tells you about the author and all that. And I did the same thing in the back of the book that I did in the front. And um made this piece and then glued it in and then made a big pocket and then there's some little map pieces in here and another little kids book and this is an old Spanish trail map this is something I got from Jessica I think I purchased it from her in a um, in a bundle I bought and I thought it'd be really cool in here so that is this book and I absolutely adore it I just think it's it's one of my favorites so far. So I hope there's somebody out there who likes it and loves it, likes it, loves it as much as I do. And if you're interested, it'll be in my Etsy shop. So thanks for stopping by and watching. And thank you again to all my subbies. I do appreciate you so very much. And I'll be back again shortly with some other videos. I've got a lot to catch up on, guys. And um, I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.